Oh, all right. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. We've got Mad Dog and Lizard and Crimson, Bull's Voice, and Jim and Boo, and DH Sodium. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> all right. Oh, as you can see, I have um, I have a bigger canvas today, actually, um, 18 by 24. It's um, a black canvas, and then I just took, um, well, canvas covered with white, uh, black gesso, and then I just took white gesso and just kind of balled up paper towel, put it in white gesso and just kind of beep, 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 kind of like that. But this is completely dry. So basically, we're going to kind of be like deep in the forest, one of those ones, and we're going to see a little scenery back here. We're going to see like a little like distant mountain in the background and everything. So it's going to be going to be neat. All right. So we'll go ahead and get started here. And I'm just gonna bring out my two inch brush. And I'm just gonna dip it into some liquid clear. All right, I'm just gonna go all over here. And you just want a nice, thin, even coat of this. You might see me holding the uh, canvas a little bit because the unfortunate, um, the only thing I, yeah, that's not 100% with this easel is that when you do a vertical like this, the only support is like right in the middle and then like at the top, you get really got to clamp it down. Whereas if you do a horizontal, you got these bars for support. So, <laughs> so sometimes I'll just be extra careful and just kind of hold the canvas at the end there. But I wanted to do one that's a little bigger canvas today because there's, like I said, there's, there's a lot of stuff in here. So we got grass on the bottom, big old trees on the side, and then we're gonna kind of see a little little mountain in the distance. Uh, excuse me. Wow, that was <clears throat> not ladylike. Sorry. <laughs> going here. See, kind of alternating between doing little X's, little crisscross like this, and just kind of really scrubbing it in like that. That's like I said, you want this to be really, really thin. It's a little harder when you to tell if you have it on the white area. So I kind of like look to the side here and see if there's any parts that aren't shiny, basically. It's a little easier to tell on the black canvas whether you've gotten everything or not. So I'm just gonna, gonna crisscross back on over and then we're gonna go swipe. Just to make sure it's nice and even, that's all. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Yes. <laughs> How's it going, Truckner? You have found it. You have found the bird counter. Uh oh. Grimoire. All right. And if you haven't seen this before, you can catch Pokemon. You can just type in exclamation point catch space the name of Pokemon. So it's Grimer in this case. Clip the burp, oh no. <laughs> I, I could have a clip show just of me burping. <laughs> I don't think anybody would be interested in watching that, but, but I could. I could. You never know. There's some, I don't know, people are into all sorts of things. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's an ASMR, the ASMR belching. That probably exists somewhere. Hey, Jim. <laughs> GG. I don't want to type that in though, because then, then my YouTube will suggest all sorts of weird stuff to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much Pokemon. Yay. <laughs> GG. You got yourself a sludge Pokemon. <laughs> Hooray. All right. So I got this all covered. 
we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab some. I got some Prussian blue here. I'm just going to just going to dab it here. I'm just going to tap my bristles in it. You don't need a whole lot of paint for this, so and I'm going to start at the top here. Just kind of crisscross my way down here. You see, I'll go a little bit into the black. Arm's gonna hurt after a while. Tap a little more. I'm debating whether I want to go back in with white and lighten it up or not. Yes, so maybe. It's kind of fun with the texture we're getting. It's kind of like a, a crinkly. And now, crinkly saran wrap texture. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and go down here. I'm gonna put some water down here, but we'll just we'll just fill it with blue for now. We'll decide where our water lives in a little bit. That's fine. Like blue here, blue there. That's fine. It's all good. Mm, I think I. I kind of like the sky like that. What I'll do is I'll just put in eh, just a hint of a cloud or two. Let's just do that. And then I gotta decide what brush I want to do the clouds with. And I think since we have kind of a small area, I'll just go ahead and use a little fan brush. Set that brush aside for a second. Set aside my liquid clear and we'll leave that for the rest of this painting. And let's grab. Yeah, let's grab the smaller fan brush there. Let's grab some titanium white. Squeeze out a little bit of that. Should be all right for now. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna dab one corner in here. Yeah, I just got it basically on the one corner there. And then I'm gonna come in from the side and just kind of make these like, circles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist my arm around a little bit just to make different shapes. Gold duck, nice. It kind of blends in, it's almost the same blue. <laughs> Change a gold duck for a dragon air. Thank 
sure it's there. Another one that left. Wow. That was. Mm -mm. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Notice how they've all been blue. Mr. Gaga. You're losing the light there. It's going away on me. It's going away. I'm just buffing out that light there. Just make it blend in. GG, dancing share. Got it. Neat. Oh. Uh, you know what? I think I need more up here. Maybe just a subtle. Maybe just a subtle one. This little poofy one there. one. That's pretty good. Let's see. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That gives us not just enough room to put our little mound there. <laughs> not too tight. <laughs> I know. I, I think I think when I envisioned it, I was envisioning like like someone talking about something, and then because I lurk a lot, and then it's kind of like me coming in like, <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> lurk breaking, yeah, lurk breaking, exactly, exactly. Because there's there's another really cute one. I think it's like um, it was one that you got for contributing to a hype train or something like that. But it's like it's like a foot like kicking down a door. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one, but I always forget about it, and I never use it, so I don't know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm still working on some other ones I want to, like, switch around and stuff and see where I want to put them, so. <laughs> He's cute, though. Yeah, and I love the little the little, uh, little squirrel eating popcorn. And that, that was another hype train one, too, I, I think it was, because I was like, oh, I want that one. Of course, I want the the squirrel one. <laughs> oh, and then, yeah, I think it was also inspired by uh, Wellsish saying the term big mad. And I was like, oh, big mad. I like that. <laughs> like, ooh, he big mad. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I hope you're doing well tonight, not too tired. <laughs> It's Friday. Alright, step back a second here just to kind of check out my clouds. I think I want. I'm just going to lessen this one a little bit. 
Do, 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 do. Soften the edge a little bit there. Do, 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 do. Just a teensy bit. Yeah, maybe him too. Maybe that one too. Da, 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 da. Yep. Okay, I think. I think I like that better now. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, we're we're having a <laughs> we're definitely having a pizza Friday, that's for sure. <laughs> what was the pizza? I, I got a weird pizza, of course. I like I like the weird pizzas. It's it's something new from Papa John's. It's it's like a barbecue chicken, but Hawaiian barbecue chicken, so it has pineapple. So it's like pineapple with like barbecue sauce and chicken, so it's like a whole it's a whole deal. So hey. <laughs> Fan that brush. <laughs> I want I want the brush to fan me. <laughs> it, it's warm in Florida. <laughs> it's warm. Uh, all right. I'm gonna use. I got this little little background mountain. I'm not. I haven't decided what color I'm gonna use for it yet. I was gonna do brown. Uh, let me get some white in this brown and kind of see. Let's see what it looks like here. Maybe throw in a little blue. Maybe, maybe. Bob just kind of goes for. It's kind of like a brown mountain. I think that'll do. I think that'll do. I can always change the color if I'm not crazy about it. Not a big deal. See, yeah. I don't know. When I was growing up, we we called that Canadian pizza. If it just had like um, pineapple and like Canadian ham or Canadian bacon. So I, I had I had that a lot growing up. So <laughs> two out of three in that two out of three in that video. Well, GG on that. <laughs> GG on the bowling. <laughs> Puts this mountain like way down here. I'm gonna put a little higher. Let's do. I don't know if I want it overlapping the clouds or not. That's the big question. Let's try it not overlapping at first. Excuse me. Gosh, that's like three burps already. Ugh. Let's drag that color down a bit here. Kind of like we normally do, but with a tiny brush. <laughs> with a tiny brush. Hey, Jennifer, how's it going? <laughs> All is well for you this Friday. Ooh. Got kind of a little, another little different one going today. <laughs> so this one we have, eh, we're kind of like peeking through some trees. There's gonna be some big old trees on the side and some grass in here. And this is just kind of like a little, a little clearing where we see a distant mountain. So, something a little different. Let's bring some of this color down. I'm gonna wipe that brush out. 
darkness of it. I just I just put it well it's it's brown and Prussian blue and I just put a little bit of white in there just to lighten it just a little bit. Since it's kind of in the distance uh, it will be affected by by fog and atmosphere and and whatnot. Whatnot and so forth. And then I'll just kind of Crisscross, blend up the bottom there as normal, as normal. And then, <laughs> good, good. I've yeah, I've been doing some weird ones. I, we finished the sewer maze and then we beat the boss that was at the end of the sewer maze. And I, that's that's about where we stopped. So we got flooded out of the sewer. And <laughs> so that's where we are now. So yeah, after that, I was like, all right, I'm hungry. Let's we have we had like four hours in. So I was like, okay, let's let's pause there. So I, I might um, I might continue that tomorrow. And do a little more on that. A boss. It was like a ghost. But that was the licky guy with the tongue. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't get a star out of him, but it was like, I don't know, it was a boss. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm not quite used to what is a real boss and what is a mini boss yet, I guess. <laughs> oh, and then was the um, the barrel thing after that? Yes. Were you jumping on the barrels? Okay, so we did do that. Yeah, so we jumped on the barrels. Yeah, came down the waterfall, jumping on barrels, that thing. And then we stopped. So I think, yeah, that's that's about where I am. <laughs> that guy. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. He just kind of goes in with the water line. I think I'm going to put a little, some kind of little land over there. Yeah. Some kind of land thing. Maybe do. Uh, maybe some, maybe some of this green. I think that should be interesting. Chunky bits, let me get those chunky bits out though. I want that in the painting. <laughs> oh, good, because I need, yeah, <laughs> like, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and tap one inch brush in here. Do, 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 do. And then I'll just put Hey, GG. 
Easy iced. Nice. <laughs> nice iced. some Castlevania trees down there and then and some grass. <laughs> Did you guys That's pretty blue. Like that Prussian blue. Just let me a little thick there. There we go. Alright. Hey, that's better. Actually, I don't need to wipe it out too much. Use that two inch brush for the real big trees here that are surrounding. Okay, and then, and then, and then. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one inch brush. I already cleaned it off here. I'm just gonna bring down some of this green just for a tiny bit of reflection here. Of course, since this side's a little taller, I'm going to bring those reflections down just a little bit longer. Cool. All right, and then we'll put a water line in to mark off the separation between the land and reflection. <laughs> Dance and share. <laughs> Almost looks like Ash back there dancing. I like, uh, well, green's my favorite, my favorite color, so I like a lot of different greens, but I like, kind of like the army, army green, olive green, that sort of, that sort of thing, grayish, greenish, and now, I'll go ahead and grab some, uh, liquid white, I'm just gonna shake it up real quick, yeah, that's good, <laughs> so itchy. Go ahead and grab my palette knife here. I don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. I'm just gonna throw that liquid right, right, right on the palette. And then I'm just gonna use just the edge of my knife and kind of come in from the side and kind of kind of zhuzh. It's <laughs> the best work I can come up with. Zhuzh it onto just the edge. And I got a shaky hand, so I'm just bracing myself here. And I'm just gonna cut into the canvas right here. We're gonna go and go the other way. Grab a little more white there. And I'm gonna wipe off my blade too, because I picked up some of that green that was on there. That'll happen. Nature of the beast. Okay, I'll go over here again. It's like once the, the blade or brush or whatever you're using is on the canvas, then it's easier to control. But once it's once it's yeah, <laughs> getting it on there, that's the, that's the hard part for me because my shaky hand. But once you get it on there, then it's good. 
off again. to start in the middle of the of the land mass there. That way I just kind of spread what I've already got on the blade to each side. Yeah. That's good. And that way it's not the same thickness all the way through either. Varied and natural looking. I'm just gonna put a teensy bit more right at the edge here. Ooh, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Give you a little bit of rear. Actually went to the person who threw out the Pokeball? Oh my gosh. <laughs> So we're gonna make a little, little line of Castlevania trees, I think. Let's see, he's got a couple that are real tall. Kind of like, like so. There we go. Just make a line of these. to be kind of kind of a straight line when you're crashing them down like that when they get too wonky yeah just put just put more paint on and make it straight again I'm just gonna keep going with with this. Just keep going, going down the line. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait. 
way too big into you. Another one. <laughs> Hi, Super Chili. I'm nice. <laughs> nice to. <laughs> well, like, every time I scratch my nose, I'm like, did I put paint on my nose? I think we're good. I think we're all right. <laughs> Coming from the other side here. Put some of these crash down trees in. Some of them are going to get covered up by big old trees, and that's okay. That's all right. Make sure this bottom part's pretty, pretty filled in, so they don't look like, like Wilson fences. <laughs> don't want that. Right. And we're almost there. Just gonna close it off there. Maybe I'll put another. Yeah, maybe I'll put another tall one here. Nice and buried. Don't want them all the same height. That'd be boring. Starting to lose the edge there. Refill. Reload. There we go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, did, did we just have that? <laughs> or, did, or did the cloister run away? We had a couple that run, ran away from us. The first couple did it. The gold duck and the um, dragon air. I think. good there and then I'll close it off with some darker some darker color there I'll just go ahead and wipe this fan brush off I don't think yeah I'm not gonna use another fan brush for a while actually actually what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and clean it off <laughs> Oh, you got you got it earlier. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> it did not work. Whoa! Hey, hey, Zephyr Drew, how's it going? <laughs> Thank you much for the raid, and welcome in everybody. I am Lady Galaga, and I am a certified Bob Ross instructor, and we do Bob Ross style paintings here. <laughs> and how was your stream, Drew? Cool. <laughs> Come on, ride the train. And ride it. <laughs> Zephyr and friends. Yeah. Good, good. That's awesome. Hope you and Noodle are doing well. <laughs> A 
I'll go ahead and wash this brush off in some paint thinner. I'm just scrubbing it against the screen that's in here. Get all the paint off there. And just squeeze out the excess paint thinner. And just dab, dab, dab. Ah. Uh, it's all right. So far, so good. It's kind of kind of a different one. We're kind of peeking in through the trees at this little little mountainscape here. So we're gonna put in some big old trees and some grass in here. So it's gonna be gonna be different. Gonna be different. All right, itchy, itchy, itchy. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think I will go ahead and, yeah, I'll grab my two inch brush again. This is the one that we used the blue for the sky. So I'll just go back to that one since that one's already already dirty and we're basically just gonna be putting, putting dark color on it anyway. So let's grab, um, I think that's good. Maybe throw in a little, a little more blue into this brown mixture here, bluish brownish thing. <laughs> right, that's great. Aww. Is that, is that the, the, the new toy you got him? The, the hide and scratch? So might as well. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, the, oh, okay, okay. You never know with cats what they're <laughs> what they're gonna like and what they're not gonna like for toys. <laughs> like it, like. Like this, this guy, this guy over here, Ash. That's uh, that's my my brother's cat. <laughs> we we got him this cute little felt kind of like a little little house that's kind of like rounded, kind of like a dome, and and he didn't. Hey, how's it going, Sydney? <laughs> and and he didn't care for it at all. And we've had it for months. And then um, another cat went into the house, and then all of a sudden, Ash is like. Oh, okay. Maybe I want this house now. <laughs> so funny. They're, they're s such individuals. <laughs> Welcome on in, Sydney. Hope you're doing well tonight. Or, well, if it's still night for you. <laughs> Pika prize. Okay, okay. Almost sounds, almost sounds like Pikachu. <laughs> he loves that one too. Okay, good, good. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm just gonna, just gonna tap my big old two-inch brush right in here. And now I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna close this off here. I'm gonna make this into a grassy area. Just come from both sides there. And I'm just gonna tap in this. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, 
not as far down as I'll go there because the rest of it's the rest of it's just covered in black gesso, so it's all good. So we can just put our highlights right on top of that. No big deal. Okay, that's good. We got that closed off there, and then I'll I'll just put in the dark shadows for the, the big old trees up here. Let's go into this same dark mixture. Just basically Van Dyke Brown, Prussian Blue. Doesn't matter really as long as it's as long as it's nice and dark. Okay, so I'm gonna use the, the dark that I already have here kind of as a little guide. We know he's there. <laughs> he's, he's there in our memory. Oh, RIP Cloud. It's okay. Now let's get some going on the other side there. <laughs> <laughs> the shiny bits. There we go. There. And we just want to pay attention to the shapes of our branches. We don't want them to be evenly spaced out. Don't want them to look like like fingers like that. I don't want that. Nice and buried. See, maybe I'll extend one of these out a little bit more. Like I said, these aren't all the same length. Let's extend this one just a little bit. Sorry, Cloud. Uh, hey, nice. <laughs> GG. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. I think I like that shape there. I think, I think, I think. Yeah. Okay. 
We'll go with that. Stop fiddling. Are you both there? Please. GG. <laughs> wipe out the excess of that dark color there. We'll use this brush later for highlights. But I'll just get everything I can out now. Alright. do now before we put our highlights on our trees we'll go ahead and put some I always forget the names of these <laughs> stems and sticks and trunks that's what it's trunks so for that I'm just gonna grab a script liner brush here and I'm take some paint thinner I'm just gonna put it right over here I have this light brown mixture here. It's just Van Dyke brown and some white. That's all. Oh my god. Such a bunch of liquid white on me. That's what it is. to a nice point here. Okay. I'll start my tree around here. There we go. That's good. Yeah, just make some wiggledy, wiggledy branches. Wiggledy, wiggledy. to land on. To the root of the situation. Hey. All right, let's get a little more. And wiggle, 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 wiggle. Again. There we go. Let's see. Step back and come. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Sometimes you spend so much time up close and personal with these things, you're like, uh, it's, oh, this looks like a mess. And then you step back and you're like, oh, yeah. Let's put a little stronger color there to highlight a little bit. Same color, just, just, just more of it. Just up here. 
here. So we're gonna give this, the, 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 we're gonna give this a tree. <laughs> Giving the tree a skeleton. Let's see, they got skeletons too. side. I need to get one safer. This might be one of the most fun things. It's one of those things where you just keep going it over and over and over again until you have it. How do you like it? If you don't like it, go over it some more. <laughs> and if you really don't like it, cover it up with highlights. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be dodging around the shininess here. <laughs> Carried away with these trees. <laughs> Ninety five percent. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
I'm sure all that got in my hair. Oh well. Ugh. It's on this side so you can see it in your eyes. Jennifer. have a little blue that I wiped off on my brush down there so mixing it in with the blue and looks picking that up a little bit here and there so that's pretty cool that's neat. <laughs> the rock Pokemon oh thank you <laughs> it's getting it's getting parts I'm just tapping down a little more, get a little softer. <clears throat> Leaving 
those dark areas is so important. in the grass there. make that into a little, a little softer, a little darker. Look at how it's almost growing on the same plane there. I'm just going back and forth between those those two greens there. Just tapping, that's how I get that soft velvety texture. Just tapping. Didn't rush it. No rushing. Oh. Nice and easy. the corner here, softer, darker. Let's see. Yeah, that worked. Neato. I need a little more color over here. Do, 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 do. like that we have we have grass Me too. <laughs> how's it going Damon all right let's go wipe off excess paint here on my brush I just go back in a couple of these spaces and make them make them a little softer, blend them in a little more. Some of these places that are like way, way far away may blend them into the, in the, the darkness there. There we go. Squeeze a little bit. Wedge myself into the corner. Ah. surrounding that tree back there. That should be all right. I'm going to soften this a little bit right here. Hey. Maybe too. That too. Soften that too. And if a part gets too bright or too smushed, you can always go back in with the dark and 
put your darks back in. Not a big deal. Alright. Well now, well, just about all we have left to do is just highlight these big old trees up here, and that's that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's like, it's, and it's funny. It's, yeah, it's like this, this bottom third of the painting is all, all grass. Hey, <laughs> that's right. We got the, I, I, I told Christine, I was like, I'm going to put the Mega Man 2 shirt on tonight. So we got it. <laughs> we got it. Yay. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, Joe. I do not have Mega Man socks, though, so I do not, my feet do not match. I have Pokemon on my socks. I forget what his name is, Fro Fro Froki? Froki, something like that. <laughs> One of those newer Pokemon I don't know as well. He's in Pokemon Go, though. I'm going to make this line a little more liney. Make that line more liney. Right, that works. <laughs> sure. Lines, lines. By followers, oh man. <laughs> Bigfollows.com. Oh, thanks, mods. <laughs> <laughs> now I just gotta decide what colors I want in the trees. Well, some sort of green. <laughs> Kept a pretty limited palette today. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I like, I like these. Well, these are almost the same. This is a little more. A little more electric there. Let's grab. That's a little too much. A little bit of, a little bit of liquid white just to, just to make that stick here. That's good. I'm just tapping that in. Tap it in and keep that nice velvety texture in there. I'm going to alternate between just using like the corner of the brush and the side of the brush. Just tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Good, good. I, yeah, I think it was, what's it called? Soothing Vista. So I was like, oh, <laughs> that's, that sounds nice. Let's do that one. Soothing Vista. in there. <laughs> Weedle the hairy Pokemon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I, I guess I guess you have to name your Weedle Harry now. <laughs> the hairy Pokemon. <laughs> oh dear.
<laughs> I'm pressing so lightly, it's not even, <laughs> it's not even tapping the canvas. <laughs> of leaves. just wanted to catch you. <laughs> oh. Boo. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Boo. Boo on you, Flareon. Okay. Oh, Grella, Grella, Dark Knight, whatever. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's similar. It's similar. in a while. There we go. It makes sense. We're doing a clump of leaves at a time anyway. Canine, the legendary Pokemon. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, Kelsey, how's it going? That part got a little too light on me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back down a little bit. I was saying before, if parts get a little light on you, you can always go back in with the dark bit there and just kind of just bring it down that's fine that's better maybe this part too yeah soften it up a little bit got another burp coming on you don't have that one either no oh. mm, excuse me yellow ochre color I got over here. Let's, uh, let's put some of this on on this side. There we go. <laughs> I am, I am 
happening oh so lightly on this so lightly I'll tuck my head here you can see through the shiny bits that and we'll like green and yellow ochre mixed together there some clumps going over there step back and let's see where we are oh yeah I like that maybe just a little more of that bright color in. Yeah. Maybe a little more of that color over here. And I'll mix in some more of that green. Lots of green. I think green is a soothing color. For me, anyway. I think blue is pretty soothing, too. But that's probably because we associate blue with sky or water so that kind of makes sense i guess it's whatever you associate it with maybe a little more yellow this tree could be a little more yellow Again, very lightly because I don't know how strong this yellow is gonna. Well, it's easier to start off with a little bit and then go back in with more if you want. Always easier to do that way. But I can't really see where we are. That's good, just subtle enough. Here. Ooh, a little more springy. Let's, let's do more of this yellow ochre greenish color down here. trees da, 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 da. couple over here still want to keep the sides pretty dark though don't want to go too overboard okay, see where we are now Time this shininess. <laughs> Thank goodness I have the uh, the the screen that you're seeing, and I can see it at an angle, so I don't see the the shininess that way. When I see, I go, oh, see, I can just do that. I can just look where you're looking. <laughs> where did I go? <laughs> I'm back. for the bravery test. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> Kelsey's ready. She's ready. a little bit more, a little, a little smudge for me. There. Bring it back a little.
Poca gente. is one of our karaoke songs. <laughs> Subscription Street, goodness, goodness, that's it's almost a year. <laughs> almost a full year. <laughs> yeah, man, that's crazy. <laughs> Hope you all are doing well. Let's clean out my brush there. Oh, we are we are about ready for the the bravery test. <laughs> so so close. <laughs> it's just it's just right there. <laughs> Bravery test is, <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, I keep <laughs> threatening it. Um, it's not a big tree like he usually does. It's blades of grass that are super close, so they're like, pew, 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 like, yeah. So, if it doesn't work out, though, I guess we can always make it a tree. So he does the thing that he does with rocks, where he puts dark color on one side, light color on the other side. a little harder towards the floor there. The floor. <laughs> blades of grass. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, I, <laughs> I have a quite, quite an entourage of, of Pokemon now. <laughs> this is, uh, this is the, uh, the new edition. <laughs> so I got the Alolan Vulpix for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Yay. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. So, yeah, we should do a poll of some sort because uh, we actually, yeah, we met the goal for the Mario Paint uh, special. So now we have to schedule when we're going to do it. Oh, we're cute. Um, he's here. So yeah, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do it on a Monday and just have it like replace one of my painting streams or do it on like a Saturday, kind of like a like a bonus additional stream or something like that. <laughs> Cubite's my favorite. <laughs> you can sit right up there. So I don't know. So maybe maybe I could put a poll up here or we can um that or we we're talking about yeah put a poll in the discord or both yeah yeah oh that's true so i just create one poll and then just put that link yeah, in so multiple we can, places we can make the make the poll and then we'll post it in chat on monday but you, you can also post it on your twitter yeah discord. Okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. <laughs> exactly. He knows. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. how to do it. Let another one come across here. I think we'll stick around that one. There we go. Wild grass. making super, super close grass there. <laughs> Looking for poles in all the wrong places. There you go. I'm just gonna, I think this is a little light for me. I'm just gonna bring it down. That's, that's about all he does on his. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do to mine. Makes it a little, little darker there. A little more separation. Maybe. Yep. Pool, pool worked pretty well last time for 
wanted to see when people wanted me to, what days I wanted, people wanted me to keep streaming. looks like an aloe plant. <laughs> Get some of those in Florida. Catch a wild aloe. <laughs> ah, see, there you go. That's <laughs> Maybe that's why it's called. Bob was from Florida, so hey. He probably saw some aloe plants. Should make an aloe plant. <laughs> now I'm tempted. I don't know, Bob. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of liked it before without those thingies. Maybe I'll go over them. <laughs> well, I'm not crazy about those, so let's get rid of them. This will be, this will be the test. Okay. 
can we bring the grass back? I think we can. I think we can, and I think we will. <laughs> exactly. It's like, eh, I tried it Bob's way. Now we're going to do it our way. Bring back the grass. I only think it's going to be pretty thick now here in this area, but that's okay. there and we'll bring back the happy little grassy areas Ooh. hey another flareon ah, we got another shot of the flareon or you know That way it'll still break it up and it won't be all that grass, but it won't be that the big grass. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, let's do it. Let's make a path. Let's make a path. I'll grab the big knife for this one. <laughs> Let's see here. So all I'm doing right now is just going in and kind of, kind of swiping in where I want this path to go. I didn't see it. <laughs> Sir, hi, just passing by and wanted to ask something. Is your hobby expensive? My girlfriend is into painting and I have never figured out like what budget someone should have for painting. Oh yeah, so how I got started is like I had never done oil paints before. Like in school, in like high school and college, they wouldn't even allow us to do acrylic. But I, you know, it's, it's good to start with acrylic just to get like a basis. But the thing with acrylic is that it dries so fast. So I would always wanted to try uh, oils. So what I did is at the local Joann's, they had like a little, um, I'll, I'll show you real quick. <laughs> 
So they had this little this little set here, and it was on clearance. And I figured I was like, before I, you know, really get into it and get all the supplies and everything, like you know, I'll, I'll just buy this little cheapo set. And yeah, it worked out pretty well. Um, like for for this style of painting, like the wet on wet technique, you want like a really thick type of paint. Um, let me show you here. They say like, <coughs> cap wouldn't go out there. Oh, wrong camera. There we go. Beep. So like for this style, you want something like really thick like that. So when you like pop it out of the tube, you can see that it's like standing up like that. They may or may not let you do that in the store, but, <laughs> but, but yeah, I would say like start off with like, like tiny little, tiny little, um, little bottles like that. And then I used, um, let's see. Uh, when I first started, I used the, the linseed oil to cover the canvas with, just kind of uh, as a base. And that way you can, you can paint on top of that. And this isn't too bad, but it, this, this lasts a long, 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 long time too. So that's, that's the good thing. I forget how much this is though. But um, I'm trying to think what else. You, you don't need like super fancy brushes. Um, where's the one I had earlier? Hmm. Here it is. So like this is the the first brush that I started out with. So I mean, as you can see, it's 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 pretty similar to like the Bob Ross two inch brush. <laughs> I kind of you know. <laughs> well, that was the one thing. I uh, I didn't know how to clean it very well. I just used you know he always said like oh odorless paint thinner. So I just went to like the hardware store and got that sort of paint thinner, but that you you do really want to be careful about um the paint thinner i use is this that stuff right there the mona lisa one that this is the best stuff that i found other things well they'll ruin your brushes <laughs> so so i would yeah definitely definitely use those they're not that bad like i think eight dollars a bottle for about that size and then you can keep reusing it so <laughs> so what I'll do is like maybe within the next couple days I have this um this bucket of paint thinner here that I'm cleaning the brushes out what I'll do is I'll pour, pour that paint thinner into like just an additional container and let that sit for a couple days and the paint will actually like sink to the bottom, like coagulate. And then you can actually pour the relatively clean paint thinner um, back into, I'll just pour it back into this container right here and then just reuse it over and over and over again. So that's, that's a good way you can save money on that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll show you my, um, yeah. Yeah, if you <laughs> if you don't use the right paint thinner, that'll happen to your uh, your brushes. <laughs> so this one used to be that big, and uh, yeah, it got it got eated. It got eated. <laughs> it was a mess. Oh yeah, the thing about like the sketchbooks and the drawing books they're very porous, so they're really gonna like soak up everything. So it's it's good for like practicing and everything, but not like for, for painting a whole biggie thing. Now, the nice thing is if you paint a canvas and then you decide either three months from now or like two years from now that you're like, ah, you know what, I could do better. You know, I could do better now that's what I'm doing with a bunch of my canvases because I started off on 18 by 24 which is the size that Bob did and I was like oh maybe I shouldn't have done that and so now I'm going back and um taking some of those 18 by 24s and just putting like gesso all over them so I can repaint on them again <laughs> but so there's always that option but 
But I think there are some sketch sketchbooks that that have like a some kind of like canvas type material. I'm not exactly sure. I've never used one, but I think it might be out there. But yeah, it, it does get expensive. <laughs> For sure. That was, I, I did teach a couple classes in person. That was one thing I was kind of like, oh, about teaching. It was like, I was going through so much paint and I was like, oh God, it's <laughs> like, oh, it hurt, it hurt. I'm just gonna go back through with this this brown color I have here. You. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. See, I I'd heard of them, but I yeah, I have no experience with them. So yeah, thanks for that. That's that's good. They have someone <laughs> someone with some experience with those. Canvas is more like, I'm trying to think, because um, I actually have like some some bags. Well, there, there's some shoes that are made out of canvas too. Canvas is like a cloth material. Yeah, yeah kind of like a- It's stretched over wood to make it taut. Yeah, and even even the canvas itself, you have to cover with, uh, you have to cover it with gesso. Because otherwise, if you, if you start painting directly on the canvas, it's like paper, really porous, and it just, just soaks up everything. Feel another bird coming on. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, bird. Yeah, like kind of like a burlap. That's yeah. Kind of like a tote bag. But yeah, yeah, there, there, yeah, there is a lot of difference because, because even like I was saying with the, um, with the canvas, it's like cloth material, and even that you have to, you have to cover with the gesso. I mean, normally, yeah, if you buy it at a store, it's gonna be already covered with gesso. That's, that's something you probably, um, a lot of people don't realize. Pikachu. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, you you can get away with. painting with acrylic on paper, but As I'm putting this on, I'm just grazing, just grazing. Of course, oils take a while to, um, to dry too. Acrylics, they dry pretty quickly, but, um, but oils, they, they, they take a, they take a bit to dry. Um, the thicker oils like like this one, the Bob Ross one, or um, like Winsor Newton, 
these guys. These ones are pretty um, pretty thick. They they dry a little faster, but it still takes it still takes weeks for them to dry. So that's that's another thing. So you gotta find <laughs> you gotta find room to put all these things when they're drying. <laughs> I have I have like a drying rack that holds 50 um, canvases. <laughs> and then of course some I just have hanging on the wall. And, and then finally when they're dry, I, um, I stack them up. Or not, not stack them, but kind of like bookways, if that makes sense. <laughs> but I put them in sleeves. But then that's another thing too, is the storage. Um, you have to put them in, I, I put them in sleeves made of, um, what's it like? I, I, just like art craft paper, like brown craft paper. You can get it at like, um, just like online art stores. But that's what I found. We've made like envelopes of those and we, we put the, the paintings inside them. Otherwise, if you put the canvases like back to back or side to side, it, it's gonna, the back is gonna rub against and it's gonna eat away at the corners. We found that art the hard way, so. <laughs> It soaks through, yeah. Yeah. So, where's my show and tell here? So this is this is what we store them in. So we just we kind of like make an envelope and just kind of staple the sides. And so we then just. <laughs> and then we just shovel them like, like I can't, I can't explain. <laughs> I can't explain. <laughs> like, 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 like books, I guess. Yeah, kind of, kind of like that. But yeah, they do take up space. But I have. How many do I have now? I, I counted, it was like 175, six, something around there. So it's like, <laughs> when you do all these paintings and you gotta find places to put them. <laughs> Until they sell. Time lapse of this is going to be like so confusing. Like, where, 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 where did that weird grass go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a pile of like the yeah 18 by 24 ones from a couple of years ago and I'm like oh yeah I got paint over these. Okay. Yeah it's pretty good for the path there. Let's go back in. Let's wipe off this excess here. And then I'll just re-put in some, some grassy bits. Green here. It's gonna tap some 
liquid would apply just to make it stick. Okay, and I'll just go back in here. Establish some of those grassy bits there. Let's see, even when you make something you're not crazy about, you can still adjust. You can adjust and change. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Or if you're having trouble adjusting and changing, wait till it dries and paint over it. <laughs> There's always options. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Kelsey. Kelsey's got the right idea. <laughs> yellow bit in here and there just to kind of separate and then I think I think I think I think I think, I think. let's go back in a little of that dark color again Cool thing like the mountains, just like the paths, you can go back and forth, back and forth, until you got it how how you like it. Let's do. It's gonna pull out some areas here and make them. I was saying it's dropping my frames, but my stream over there is. Not cooperating. Yeah, let, let me know if I'm I'm dropping frames here. Twitch might be being twitchy. You know how that goes. I know how that is. You can paint on me. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Captain Goof. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. I am Lady Galaga, and I am a certified Bob Ross instructor, and we do Bob Ross style paintings. <laughs> Do an Elden Ring? How how is it? A lot a lot of people are playing that. It's pretty popular. <laughs> Hope your stream went well. Oh. oh. Did I? Uh oh! Did I die? Ah. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hi. Ah, how's it going? <laughs> Hope you're doing well tonight. Hope your stream went well. I may or may not be dropping frames. So. <laughs> but welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We're 
we're just putting in some some final touches here we are almost done we're just putting in this little path here and just rocking rocking some some darks back in Ooh, what if I could do this Ooh. make it kind of kind of softer ah. yeah it's kind of neat <laughs> Maybe we'll just put in some some dark bits here. Yeah, I'll just put some dark bits under some of these grassy bits, make them stand out a little bit more. So we have Pokemon, if, if you can hear me. <laughs> Hopefully it's not affecting, the wonkiness of Twitch is not affecting the Pokemon, but you can, um, you can type in exclamation point catch space the name of the Pokemon. So in this case it would be exclamation point catch space seeking. Streams behind, okay. So by the time everybody puts in the after yard buffering. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, so it's yeah, buffering, not so much dropping frames. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. What would be causing that? Just internet connection or just I'm sorry about that <laughs> but that's okay at least it happened at the end of the stream right that's that's all right could be could be worse so it looks like it's pretty far behind. oh it's pretty far behind okay all right so in that case well let me do one more thing no, here the is just now popping up. oh no <laughs> oh just gonna yeah yeah Ugh, everything's so far behind oh no no okay I'm just gonna do a couple a couple highlights and then we'll and then we'll call it quits then see the internet is telling me I'm, I'm done <laughs> Santa's cat. Do I have Santa's cat? <laughs> all right all right let's just do a couple finishing touches here
<laughs> oh, super sad. Okay. Oh. Aww. <laughs> oh no. Aww. Okay. It's crazy, but it looks like it's okay now. Like it's not buffering anymore. Or yeah. Okay. Should I try it? I'm going to try lure just to see what happens. I would. No? No. Okay. It's, well, it's not caught up. It's just that uh, it's behind. Yeah. There is no catching up. It's just, yeah, it's just wonky. Catch up would be upstream and and restart. Yeah. yeah, but we're we're done anyway. So, <laughs> okay. One last thing. One last thing. Okay. Uh, I said one last thing. Okay, well, <laughs> so it, everything is super behind, um, but it's okay. We're we're done anyway. So if you if you can hear me, or you might hear me five minutes from now, <laughs> but we're we're gonna go ahead and raid. Um, maybe I should put it in the chat as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello to me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Welcome to the Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, we'll go ahead and, and cut here. Um, but thanks everybody for coming in and we're gonna we're gonna read a friend. <laughs> Yeah, because even, even my phone's just like spinning. Yeah. Oh, I'm goblin. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, Jamie's on. Jamish is on. Jamish is doing crossbeats or? Uh, Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then Cheese is doing FDS. Oh, that's right. Good night. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie's doing Metroid. We got, we got 19 people. And what's Jason up to? Uh, trials. Trials. Uh, lethal weapon. Lethal weapon. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and... Maybe let's go raid Jamie. All right, thanks for every, thanks everybody for coming in. <laughs> Sorry, Twitch is being weird, but thanks everybody for showing up and and hopefully I might see you tomorrow for Mario RPG. I might see you Monday. 